Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is TRSKSS, and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I have some sad news to share with you regarding something that happened in Austin, Texas early this morning. Now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what happened, what we know, and what they're doing right now to solve the investigation. But before we begin, if you guys could go ahead and drop a like on this video, it would help it get around, it would help more and more people see it, and I want as many people to see this video as possible. And also, if you guys are new here, and you happen to pop open into this video, then make sure that you do hit that subscribe button if you guys want to become a fan, because I upload the latest news, GTA 5, and Pokemon Go content on my channel. Now guys, let's get right into this news article. Alright, so I'm not sure if you guys have heard, but last night at about... 2.17 a.m., there was actually two shootings that happened in Dallas, in Austin, Texas, excuse me. And apparently what happened is that one person is confirmed dead for sure, and there was these shootings that happened, and four were injured as well. Now, what's interesting about this is that these are both separate shootings, meaning that they weren't taking place at the same location, they were actually at different spots in Austin. Now, it was in a crowded area of downtown, so I'm not sure if there was like a little meeting or anything happening there or what was going on, but this is really what happened. First of all, we're going to get into the victims, and this article actually comes from CNN, and apparently a girl, a woman, who was 20, was pronounced dead at the scene after that she was shot, and then three victims, which were all in their 30s, and they were all women, were taken to the University Medical Center Brackenridge with gunshot wounds and then an additional victim actually refused treatment from the hospital so apparently there was actually four victims but one of them just decided to refuse treatment so that's a total of about five people that were affected by the gunshot wounds and more and more as you guys know because these are traumatic incidents that happen in towns and stuff and it happens a lot more now in America which is very sad but now we're going to get into what exactly happened. And so right here it says, Police say that there was a disturbance on 6th Street, a popular nightlife district, where the suspect pulled out a weapon and began firing into the crowd. The suspect is still at large, police said. As officers arrived, as you can imagine with this being shortly after 2 a.m., and the large crowds we have on 6th Street at this time, all the individuals leaving the bars... It was a very chaotic scene, Manley said. A lot of people running in different directions with all the gunshots that were coming out. Now, that was only the first incident. Then what happened is it said the second unrelated incident began just seven minutes later. So at 2.24 a.m., because the first one happened at 2.17, this one happened at 2.24, and police got a call about a disturbance at a parking garage just blocks away from the first incident. So these actually were two different incidents that happened at two different times that were apparently unrelated that actually happened in two different locations. Now, they were both in downtown Austin, so it was both in the immediately like location of Austin, Texas, but they were both in different spots. Now, that's pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and see what else there's, what they're, what else they're saying. Then it says, one individual there did pull out a weapon and fire it at another individual. Witnesses engaged the suspect, disarmed him, and took him down. The suspect was transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Then it says, authorities in the Texas capital are asking those with the videos of incidents to send them to the police. Austin police had earlier referred to this event as an active shooter incident in a tweet, but Manley said the two separate incidents so close together caused the confusion. So guys, that's very, that's very disappointing. That, that had to happen. And there's been a lot of shootings that have been happening the, recently in the U.S. and around the world. We know we had terror attacks. We know that we had the <clears throat> the shooting in Washington yesterday, which was pretty sad. And all these shootings that are happening are very disappointing. But anyways, you guys, that's really all I have for today's video. If you guys did go on to enjoy, make sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. And if there's more news that happens later on, you guys can count on me to go ahead and report it to you guys. Anyways, this is TRSKSS, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.